This is an insertion magneter. The flow goes this way, this end indicated by this arrow. These are the electrodes. This is the, the ball valve that allows you to hot tap the system. This is a selection where this nut is tightened against an O-ring that squeezes against this shaft that seals it. This threads, these threads are sealed in the standard method. So the way the sensor works is it only needs to be installed where these electrodes, this electrode is, the flow goes this way, and there's an electrode on this side and one on that side. The flow goes past this streamlined surface, and this conductive part, this is part of the probe, this is the grounding element, and these are the two electrodes for the Faraday, where the Faraday work is being done. So the flow wants to be going this way, and you only need to insert it in, a, in the pot of a water this way. You don't insert this way or that way. If you insert this way, air bubbles. If you insert that way, there's particulate in the pipe. So you keep a magmeter inserted from the side in uh, water about this where it, it's this far into the pipe. And this only needs to be inserted into the pipe only because it's water and classically best practices are that they're five diameters upstream and three diameters downstream without any disturbances. If you're 10 diameters upstream and six diameters downstream and fully developed flow, which will be in any pumping installation, measuring here is fully representative of the velocity across the entire pipe. So that's the magmeter.